So now Pages, Keynote, and Numbers are Apple's version of um, Doc Sheets and Slides. They are uh, a word processing program, a spreadsheet program, and a presentation program. Um, but they're a little more feature rich, which means they have more options and things that you can do. You can actually insert videos into them. Uh, you can insert drawings directly into them. You can record your audio directly into those presentations. Whether I'm using Pages, uh, Keynote, or Numbers, it doesn't matter. They all work the same way. Um, let's say I'm making a presentation. And so I'm going to open up Keynote, and I have a presentation here that I've been working on, and maybe I need to share this presentation with my group members. So all I have to do is I now have this little icon up here at the top. It looks like a person with a plus sign. And when I click on that, it's going to give me some different options on how to share this file. Um, the easiest option of all these that it gives you here is to simply do Gmail, because that's what you have access to. So the first thing I need to do when it asks me for email addresses or phone numbers, you're going to enter in the name of the person that you want to share this with. So let's say I was working on this presentation with Mrs. Calva. So what I can do is I can simply type in Calva, and it will show me any... Uh, people that it finds that match that. Now you'll notice underneath their name, it is not their at psdr3.org or at student.psdr3.org. It's actually at appleid.psdr3.org. And that's fine because that's what you have to have in order to be able to share with somebody. Now you used to have to know that Apple ID and you used to have to manually type it in. Now all you have to do is know part of that person's name and once you type it in, it should find anything that matches it, and I could go ahead and click on it, and then that person would be able to have access. Now, if I need to add somebody else, I would just start typing in uh, another name. So maybe if I was going to add a student, and I typed in the name Smith, I have a whole bunch of students in here uh, that I can choose from, and I just want to make sure I'm going to choose one of the ones that ends in appleid.psdr3.org that matches the student's name that I want to uh, send this to. Um, in my case, I'm going to save it just for Ms. Calva. But I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And now it's going to ask me to actually enter in the email address of Mrs. Calva to be able to send it to that person. So the first step was just the choosing of who you want to share it with. And since I told it to share via email, now this is the email I'm going to send. So again, I'm going to type in that person's name. And there's their email address. And then I'm going to give it a subject. That makes sense. And again, good email etiquette is to include a message that explains what this is. So I could just simply say something like, I created our group presentation. Let me know what you think. And when I hit send, this message is going to get sent to Miss Calva automatically. Now when Miss Calva opens up that message, uh, it's going to tell me, hey, this message has started collaboration. And now multiple people have the ability uh, to edit and work on it. You'll notice up here in the upper right hand corner, uh, you'll see a little uh, person with now a little check mark next to it. That means that they have successfully um, been added as a collaborator. And again, I could continue to add people if I want. I can also click on a person's name and I can control whether or not that person can make changes to this document or can just view it. And I can simply go back and forth and add as many people as I want or stop sharing if I need to. Now, one of the reasons I like Keynote better than something like Google Slides is this plus sign up here. So it gives me a lot more options of things that I can add into my presentation that Google Slides doesn't support. Um, so I can still insert photos or videos, that's no different. I can take pictures with my camera and insert them directly into my presentation. Um, I have the ability to record audio, which has a full featured audio recording tool built right in. I also have uh, the ability to insert web videos, which would be basically like a YouTube URL, which would be embedded right within my presentation if I want to. I can do an image gallery, which will contain multiple images that I can swipe through, uh, like a slideshow if I want. And my favorite part is I have the ability to insert drawing, which gives my drawing tools 
and I can draw and write and do whatever I need to write within my slide. So that's how you do collaboration in pages, keynote, or numbers uh, to be able to have multiple people working on the same document.